Okay, I'm making a video of a, a cat uh, den or house um, to help some people out there. I was looking and really didn't have too much uh, information besides Rubbermaid containers and I wanted something a little bit more permanent that uh, <clears throat> wouldn't really look as much as an eyesore uh, and that wouldn't blow away in the wind. I live out in the country and uh, it's a little crazy uh, some of the wind we get. Matter of fact, yesterday we had up to 55 mile an hour gusts uh, here in Illinois. But um, I live in the country and um, I guess people uh, towards the, the town or city uh, think, hey, you know, there's houses in the country. If I don't want my pets, I'll just drop them off. I've been here five years in this house. Uh, I got about just over an acre. And um, we've had, I think we counted eight or nine cats and two or three dogs. People just drop off. So I'll come outside one day and bam, there's an animal. Kind of gets old. It's saddening, but I try and do my best to find them homes or uh, take care of them. But I have animals of my own, so it's kind of a pain in the rear. So, but uh. Here you go. I got a 55 gallon drum uh, from work. It's uh, never been used. Um, it's not food grade, but it's uh, HDPE. Uh, let's see. I was trying to find something to do with the legs to get it off the ground, you know, for snow and, and rainwater. I went to this uh, company found online called K9 Condo, uh, the letter K, the number nine, and Condo. I believe it was uh, $50 for the kit. I could have uh, made it out of wood, but I just figured even with pressure treated wood, it's only going to last, you know, so long. This to me was a little bit more permanent. It's, uh, I believe it's uh, stainless steel or it's some type of aluminum. It's actually pretty rigid, but um, I got that for about 50 bucks and then for, I think it was like $8, I got this, uh, they call it a vent cover where it's supposed to, it, it's actually for dogs. Um, you know, behind there, behind here is supposed to be yeah, right there, some holes for ventilation. I took it and put it over this cat door, so this way it would uh, get some drippage if it did rain. You know, kind of clears it a little bit. The door, not by much, but it's better than nothing uh, to keep the rain, uh, hopefully, from trying to go in so much. And then this white stuff you're seeing around this caulk, that's actually a camping. Uh, black uh, self-leveling sealant called Dicor. They make it in different colors, but that's what I had on hand for my camper. Um, use that. And then uh, just to seal it up, I also did it around the door. I'll probably cut the video and come back in and show you um, what I had going on there. And then I got this off Amazon. It's supposed to be for a trailer to like vent, you know, if you have uh, four wheelers or quads or gasoline in there. Um, I, uh, inside I use like, I don't know, inch and a half, two inch hole saw, put a piece of screen over the hole, screw it down, put some more of that lap sealant. And then I put this on there with lap sealant. And, uh, I mean, it's, it's pretty sturdy. It ain't going anywhere. I'm uh, actually pretty happy. All right, I'm going to pause the video <clears throat> and then, uh, open it up and give you a little bit more tutorial. And, uh. I'll be right back. 